All right, next we're going to um, look at parabolas, and we've looked at them in the past in a lot of different ways in standard form and in vertex form, and um, we're pretty familiar with those. And throughout this unit, we're actually going to look at it in a different form that is based on the actual definition of where a parabola comes from, which is from the focus and the directrix. So in your notes, go ahead and draw um, a picture of a parabola. It's a U shape. And um, in that picture, we have, here's the vertex right here. Let me go ahead and label it. And then down here underneath, I want you to draw a dotted line. And this is called the directrix. Directrix. And then up here, we have this point right here. And this point is called the focus. And the definition of a parabola is um, it's a bunch of points that are equally distant from a focus and a directrix. So my picture is not drawn perfectly, but ideally this length and this length would be exactly the same. And then also this length and this length, actually that would be straight, yeah, straight down. Um, those would be exactly the same as well. And that's actually how you can define a parabola is by figuring out points that would be equally distant from the focus and the directrix directrix and then drawing all of those points and it would give you the parabola shape. And when we look at these, um, we have a few definitions for how we can write these equations. So in this picture, the distance from the focus to the vertex is a length of a and the distance from the vertex to the directrix is also a length of a. And that length of a is important because it's defined um, in the formula, which I'll give you in a second. And then from the focus to the edge of um, the parabola like that, these are, it's not drawn to scale. I did not do a very good job, but those are each a length of 2a. All right, so length of a, length of a, length of 2a, and 2a. Now this line that cuts across right here is called the lattice rectum. A weird name, I agree. Okay, so for this picture, the equation that we're going to be looking at is x minus h squared and it's going to equal 4 times a and that a is the distance between the vertex and the focus or the vertex and the directrix um, times y minus k. So this specifically is the formula if the parabola opens up and if it opens up then we will see that the um, vertex for this picture is going to be hk. All right, so that's the same as when you had um, your other form, the vertex form that you've worked with previously. Now, if I want to figure out what the um, what the coordinates right here are of the focus, then I'm going to say the focus is going to have the exact same x coordinate as um, the vertex did. But now it's not going to be k because this right here was hk, and we have moved up in the graph. We've moved up an amount of a. And so I'm going to say that the y coordinate of the focus would be k plus a. Now for the directrix, it's a horizontal line. And so horizontal lines are always y equals a number, y equals. Now right here was a y value of k, and I moved down an amount of a. And so the directrix is going to be y equals whatever k minus a is. So that's all the information if you have a parabola that opens up. All right, now sometimes they'll say, hey, what are the endpoints of the lattice rectum? Or they'll ask you to figure out what the length of the lattice rectum is. And so if you want to look for the endpoints of the lattice rectum, then you're going to take your focus and you're going to go left to A from it and you're going to go right to A from it. And that's how you would find those two endpoints of the lattice rectum. So I'm going to get the right endpoints of lattice rectum. And we're going to take our focus and go left 2a. So that would be h minus 2a. And then it was k plus a. And we're going to take our focus and we're going to go right 2a. k plus a. So from the focus, left and right, a length of 2a.
Okay, next we're going to look at a parabola that opens down. So this one is going to be very similar to the last equation. It's just going to have a negative in there, which would make sense because that makes it go upside down. So negative 4a is what made it go upside down, like that. So if you're looking at just an equation, the way that you can tell it opens down is by having that negative right there in the front. All right, and we're going to find the same information for this picture. So for my focus, this. Um, my original point was HK, and so my focus this time goes down a length of A. So the distance there is still A, and so that would mean that my X coordinate is still going to be H, but now my Y coordinate is going to be K minus A. Now for my directrix, it's still a horizontal line, so it's still the equation y equals a number. And this time, my value for k, we're going to go up to find the directrix. So it's that value of k plus a length of a. So my directrix is going to be defined by the horizontal line y equals k plus a, whatever that number value ends up being. All right, and then last, if I wanted to look for the, um, here's the lattice rectum right here, here are the endpoints. Again, I just need to take my focus and go left to A and right to A. So endpoints of the lattice rectum are going to be the focus to the left to A and to the right to A. All right, here's a parabola that opens to the right. The equation for this one is gonna trade your x and your y values here. So instead of x minus h squared, it's gonna be y minus k squared, and that's how you're gonna know it opens sideways. So this would be positive for a. And so again, your, um, your vertex is still hk, so you're still getting it from the x number and the y number. But this time they're just a little bit backwards, and so that's what tells you it's flipped. All right, so here, if we are looking for the focus, this time, instead of the focus moving up or down from the vertex, it has moved to the right from the vertex. So this time, we're going to say that the focus has a new x-coordinate. The new x-coordinate is eight, um, h plus a. And the y-coordinate is going to stay the same. It's still going to be k. So always, 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 this distance right here is a length of a, always. All right, now the directrix is a vertical line this time. And so it's going to be the equation x equals, and the x value is going to be to the left of h, an amount of a. So we had h, we subtracted a from it, whatever that number is, that's the equation of the directrix. Uh, this time, if we wanted the end points of the lattice rectum, we're going to take our focus and we're going to be going up and down a length of 2a. So the end points of the lattice rectum. Uh, the x-coordinate is going to stay the same, so it's going to be h, and the y-coordinate is going to go up to a. Sorry, it wasn't just h. It was h plus a, because it was from the focus. So from the focus, and then we're going to go up to a, and we're going to go down to a. All right, and last but not least, we have opening to the left. And this one would have a negative, and that's what would tell you that it went to the left. All right, so again, our vertex is hk. So here, our focus has the same y-coordinate, but the x-coordinate has moved to the left. And so I'm going to say it is x minus a length of a, and then k stays the same. For the directrix, I still have a vertical line there, so I still have an x equals. The h has moved to the right a length of a, and so I'm going to say x plus a. For the ends of the lattice rectum, we're just going to take the focus and move it up to a and down to a. And so end points of the lattice rectum. We're going to be x minus h, and then we're going to go up to a, and then 
then we'll go down to a All right, so now we're gonna try an example where we can apply these formulas. So we're gonna look for the equation of a parabola. And the parabola is going to have a vertex of two, four, a focus of two, five, and a directrix of y equals three. And I find it helpful to always draw a picture so that we know exactly what we're talking about. And you can start with any of the information that you want. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start with the directrix y equals three. I know that's a horizontal line. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw a horizontal directrix right in there. Um, I don't know if you've noticed, the reason I draw it dotted is because that line does not actually show up. It's kind of, it's an invisible line. So that's why I'm drawing it dotted, it's not real. Um, and then I have a vertex of two, four and a focus of two, five, and those are up from the line because four is bigger than three, five is bigger than four. So that means that my parabola is actually going up like this. So here is the point two, five. Here is the point two, four. So since we're looking at the um, parabola that opens up, it's gonna be the equation x minus h squared and then positive 4a because it's up, y minus k. And we already have um, pretty much all the things that we need in this equation. <clears throat> One of them is hidden, but we know the vertex, so we have our h and we have our k. So h right here is going to be 2, k right there is going to be 4. Now if you remember, the distance from the vertex to the focus is the length of a, and so the a value here a is going to be 1. And so I'm just going to plug a 1 in right there. So now if I want to write the equation of the parabola that met that criteria, it would be this. And that's it. All right, we'll do one more example. We're going to find the vertex the focus, the directrix, and the points that define the lattice rectum, aka its endpoints, um, of y squared equals 8. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite this equation so that it looks more like um, the formulas that I gave you guys. So I want the y squared to be written as something in parentheses squared, and since there's not a number there it would be y minus a zero. And then for the for the x, the 8x, I want to write it as the x goes with something in the parentheses, so it would be x minus a zero because it was just plain old x, and then the 8 would go in the front. All right, so since I have a y squared in the front, that means that um, my picture is either going to the left or to the right. Since the eight is positive, that means that my parabola should be drawn going to the right. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw a sketch of my parabola. It looks like this. Here's my directrix, here's my vertex, there's my focus. Um, in the front, if you guys remember, it's always 4a, and since this is eight, then I'm gonna say 4a equals eight divide by four, and the a value is two. So that means that my focus and my directrix are each a length of two away from the vertex. So my vertex, I can see right here is zero, zero. There's my vertex. Um, my focus is a length of two to the right of the vertex, and so my focus would be two, zero. My directrix is a vertical line, so it's gonna be an x equals equation. It is to the left, a length of a from the vertex, and so it's gonna be x equals negative two. <clears throat> and then the endpoints of the lattice rectum, they are up and down from the focus, and they are up and down a length of two a. A length of two a would be four. So the endpoints of my lattice rectum are gonna be two, and then if I go up four from that, 
And if I go down four, it'd be negative there. So I'll go ahead and write all that out. I'm just gonna put LR for lattice rectum so I don't have to write the whole thing out. Oh dang, that was the directrix. <laughs> just kidding. You guys were like, this rhymes, don't be stupid. Okay, and then I'll write LR for lattice rectum to four, to negative four. 